from across the Tri-State. This is KHQA Sports. He said he could see today coming, and boy, was he right. Luke Guthrie veered away from his recent struggles with his short game and delivered today during the opening round of the John Deere Classic. A packed field, including Jordan Spieth, who has won both majors so far this year. But it was Guthrie who went low today and provided the entertainment, and boy, was he entertaining very, very, very good stuff out there today from him. His approach right here goes into the rough, chips right on there, puts it within a few feet of the hole. He'd be even at this point, would sink this putt for the par. He was just kind of getting ready for that big Illini day tomorrow. Going to have a lot of fans and a lot of family and friends out there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Here's his approach on the par four fifth right here. Hits it nice and high. A lot of rain out there in Silvis, Illinois the past couple days this past week. So those greens very, very soft. You can see it right there as he makes a nice little divot. About 10 feet from the hole. Hits it just a little too hard right here. Goes over the top of the hole. He would walk up though and tap in for par. Had to be pleased. Wasn't pleased on this hole, but he had to be pleased with his round overall. How about eight birdies and one bogey, folks? Tied for third, seven under 64, and he said he could just see today coming. I felt this round coming, and uh, I've been playing really good, and just one thing, part of my game hasn't been quite good enough the last couple weeks, and um, my short game's been getting better and better, and that's given me that extra confidence. Confidence indeed. He was playing out there with that today. And how about him? I told you, seven under, 64, tied for third. He's got an early tee time tomorrow, but shouldn't be a problem for Luke. Those greens might stiffen up a little bit over the night, and he's going to have to go out there and shoot low again. The leader at eight under, so he's just one back. But I'll tell you what, what a performance out there from Luke today. And Tomorrow, a line eye day, going to be a lot of fun out there. How about some Little League action? Adams County All-Stars hosting Pike County. Game moved to QU Stadium because of the rain. The boys probably didn't mind that. Pitcher's duel early on. Jake Scheisler, high heater, going to get the batter swinging for the strikeout as he gets out of the inning right there. Carter at equally as impressive for Pike County. It's a big dude on that mound out there. Adams County playing a little defense after that. Small grounder right here. Goes to Scheisler. He's going to throw to first. Not in time. Reed O'Brien opens up his cannon. Good. Guns down the runner a third right there. Not a bad outcome getting the runner in scoring position. Nice piece of D right there from Adams County. Run started to come after that for Pike County, though. Already up 1-0. Gage Smith, he added to it in the fourth right there. Beats a throw first. Justin Pennick scores, make it 3 to nothing at that point. Nolan Daniel going to be laying down a sweet bunt right here. How about that? How about the speed from him as well to beat out the throw? That one gets by. Another run comes on in the score. 4 to nothing at that point. Pike County holds on. They beat Adams County 8 to 7. Another score from the doubleheader, I guess you could call it tonight. Pike County gets it done as well. 4 to 3 in the second game. Tyler Dance with two hits in that one. Another game going on right now. We will have the final score for you on KHQA.com. Also today, our congrats to Dakota Linkman. She won the 47th annual Big Guy Junior Golf. Classic at Lick Creek Golf Course in Pekin. Linkman shot back-to-back -back 75s to win by four strokes over Emma Vickery of Northbrook. Linkman won the city tournament a few weeks ago here in Quincy. Now she advances to the national tournament at the Prairie Dunes Country Club in Hutchinson, Kansas, August 3rd to the 6th. She has had quite a year on the link. So our congrats to her. Some college football news to pass along as well. Western junior wide receiver Lance Lenore was named to the 2015 Stats FCS preseason second team All-American today. He was a first team All-Missouri Valley pick a season ago, racking up over a thousand yards receiving to go along with 75 catches, seven touchdowns. He led the Leathernecks in all three categories. Bob Nielsen and WIU kick things off at home September 3rd against in-state rival Eastern Illinois. Looking for a big season from them, but even looking for a